rationalization of denominator, it is an extremely important tool uh, uh, in solving equations which have radical in them, right? Very, very important. You'll find it of great use in advanced functions course, in calculus, in algebra, and rational, uh, I should not say functions, but uh, anything which has radicals in it. So whenever you find square root and you want to get rid of them, you have to apply rationalization, right? Sometimes you do rationalization of denominator, sometimes numerator. Here we will discuss rationalization of denominator. So what is the basic policy here? Basic policy is that if we have square root of A plus square root of B, then if you multiply this with square root of A minus square root of B, in that case, what do you get? When you multiply this, you get A square, I mean the first term square minus the second term square. So square of square root is A, right, minus B. So basically that is what you get. And that is why it is extremely important. And this one is without any square root term, right? So this is what you get. And that is why rationalization becomes such an important tool for us. And we can always rationalize denominator or numerator as the case may be. Here we will take examples where we will show you how to rationalize denominator. But the same technique can be followed to rationalize the numerators also, right? So let us say we have a problem saying 1 over square root of x plus 1 minus 1, okay? Now, here we see a radical here in the denominator. So how can we get rid of this, right? Now, to get rid of this, what we do is we multiply and divide by its conjugate. So if we are rationalizing the denominator. So how do we do it? So what we do is we multiply and divide by its conjugate. So let's do it. And so the conjugate is square root of x plus 1 plus 1, right? Divided by square root of x plus 1 plus 1. Note this sign, right? So that sign has to be reversed. Do you see that? These signs are reversed. Do you see that? That is the whole idea. So when you do this, when you do this part, then what do you get? You get here in the numerator the same thing when multiplied by 1. That's okay. You get square root of x plus 1 plus 1. And in the denominator, you get a square minus b square, right? So square of this term is x plus 1. So you get x plus 1 as square of this term minus 1, correct? So when you do this, so you get square root of x plus 1 in the numerator plus 1 divided by, now plus 1 minus 1 is 0, so you are just left with the term x. Do you see that? So in the process of rationalizing the denominator, we eliminated the radical part, the square root part, from the denominator. That is, that is a huge thing, and that's what it is all about. So we can take some more examples to just uh, figure out how to do rationalization of denominator, right? So let me write one, one or two more questions for you. You can do like this. Uh, for example, I can do x over x plus 1 minus square root of x minus 1. Now in this case, what will you do to rationalize? So you'll multiply and divide by conjugate of this, which will be square root of x plus 1 plus square root of x minus 1, correct? And when you open your bracket, you will get some terms, uh, and then you simplify and write like this, correct? So here, when you do rationalization, you will multiply by the term square root of x plus 1 plus square root of x minus 1 divided by square root of x plus 1 plus square root of x minus 1. Do you get it? And then when you do this, then you really get rid of the square root, both, both right, from the numerator, uh, denominator. In the numerator, you'll get x times square root of x plus 1. They are introduced there on the other side. But probably, um, when you're solving this kind of a problem, it helps to reduce the denominator in a simpler form, right? So that's, that's why the technique is being used. So this would be x plus 1 
minus x minus 1. We can simplify it further as per the requirements, right? So x minus x will be 0 and you are left with 1 minus of minus 1 which is 2. So you are left with x divided by 2 this term, right? So this is how you are going to use your functions to rationalize, okay?